Here we are, so this is my 118 scale model collection, there's a few here, I've got a couple more behind me, and yeah, let's get into this. Also, please do excuse these, I know they're genuinely dirty, you're not supposed to leave them outside of the boxes, I am thinking of something that I can help this um, issue and that, so yeah, um, let's go anyway. So first up by Maestro, we've got the 2020 Ford Mustang Shelby GT500. And this is one of the um, cheaper sort of models, I mean in comparison to these, these are all like resin sort of models, but this is just metal. This one hasn't got any windows, you can see the interior as well. So here we are, the heart of the beast, a 5.2 litre supercharged V8. This is apparently one of the most powerful production car engines they've put in a Ford. I mean, it's mad. I think it's rear wheel drive, isn't it? Yeah, for certain, obviously Mustang, but yeah. Looking absolutely amazing. Also, the attention... I know you can't really see it on camera. Well, let me try this. Switch light off. Um, let me put my torch on. There we are. As you can see... Yeah, I'm sorry. It is a bit dirty. But carbon fibre wheels as well. And I love those Brembo brake pads. They look absolutely like, amazing. Honestly, I mean... Despite, obviously, with the dirt... It, it genuinely looks nice. It's got fully functioning boots and doors, obviously, as well. Interior again, which... I'm sorry, people. I know it needs cleaning. Please do forgive me. This, I've had this since 2021 Christmas, so, yeah. Moving on to the next model, we've got a Mark II Ford Focus ST. This one is in electric orange. Obviously, can't go wrong with these. 2.5 litre turbocharged inline 5 engine. What, well, Volvo engine, basically. And honestly, it's sounding absolutely amazing. Again, obviously, I love this electric orange colour. This is a lot cleaner than the Mustang by far, but, yeah. Yep, of course, Recaro race, well, uh, Recaro seats as well. Obviously, with this being a resin, you can't open the doors, so you can kind of get a preview of the interior. It, it does look amazing. I mean, these are, I feel like this is more robust than the Mustang. So there's the rear. You don't get much uh, stock anymore, like much stock Focus STs are normally all modified with the pop and bang maps and that. But yeah, it, I love the colour on it. It's so nice. Again, there is little bits of dust there, I do apologise once again, but yeah. Here we go, on to one of my favourite and one of my dream cars of all time. The Mark II Ford Focus RS. The exact same model, oops, ex the exact same model company, automobile. As you can see, the Focus ST was 26, 26 out of 3,000. But yeah, this one, ultimate green, loving the spec. I mean, I like these in frozen white. I don't know what you guys would think, but I prefer ultimate green. Sorry, yeah, I nearly collided them both together. You heard that banging? It was just, yeah. Yeah, just make sure those the collisions don't happen unless you want damaged paintwork. But, I mean, hey, look, the door seat is an issue. The aerial, when I took this out of the box, I didn't realise how flimsy the aerial was. Um, for some what for whatever reason it kind of bent back. I don't know if there's a way to fix that or just get a new one. I don't know what would be better, but yeah. Again, 2.5 liter turbocharged inline five engine, basically a Volvo engine, but this is a lot more higher spec than the Focus ST, and I think it looks a, a lot better. As you can see here, this is a standard plate it came with, just a Focus RS, but when you go to the front, I did um, buy these decals on eBay, look, 5CLY. Unfortunately, the rear one fell off. I've also got the Ford Performance Sunstrip, and I, God, I cannot wait to clean this car. Also, the interior, as you can see here, um, yeah, the window's dirty as well. But yeah, I think that's probably one of my favourite model cars of the lot, for definite. Right, well, moving on to the next one. So this, here we are, the brand new Toyota GR Yaris. This one is finished in emotional red, looking absolutely incredible. It's also sat on T37 as well, it's been lowered. Um, this one's been, this is a complete like one-off customised GR Yaris. I haven't done the customization. I'll be completely honest with you. Someone on eBay did it and I ended up buying it for my birthday. Although I did change the number plates, these 4D gel plates, which look absolutely like, amazing. I will link the description, I will link the guy in the description below who made these. I forgot the name, but I'll have a look later. But yeah, it looks absolutely amazing. As you can see, this is also an autom automobile, just like the Focus ST and the RS. But the paintwork is just lovely. Like I said, emotional red metallic, it looks amazing. The interior do be looking nice as well. This one's a lot cleaner because it's been more recent. Well, I did get it January this year. Obviously, like I said, for my birthday. 
So here's the rear, as you can see, the GR71 Yara number plate. Also, I have got um, a sticker. I don't know. I just I saw these on the O2 Alex website, and I just thought I'd stick it on. It kind of looks nice. It, it kind of looks decent. Yeah, this is probably one of the cleanest ones I've got. But as you can see, this is an early production number, 136 out of 3,000. So yeah, GR Yaris, looking amazing. Also, there's a few more random stuff. I've got this, like, Corgi's Cadbury Cream Egg. It's like a limited edition. I don't know why I bought this. It was like kind of in relation to Easter, but 1998 Corgi, but yeah, it's there, I guess. Unfortunately, I do also, I do have a Jaguar Mark II uh, from those who will know the Inspector Morse show. I bought this at Birmingham NE Theatre car show a couple of years ago, well, quite a few years ago. Unfortunately, the box was faded when I bought it. It had this big crack in it. It's unfortunate, but um, yeah, there it is out of the box. I've not actually unscrewed it out because I don't want to because it's well, it's vintage and that. It's also little details like the number plate as well, but yeah, awesome. So here we are, the 2017 Chevrolet Camaro 50th Anniversary Edition in correlation to the 50th Anniversary of the Camaro Generations. Finished in nightfall grey, it's a metallic paintwork again, and unfortunately this one is obviously, like I've said with a lot of these, not the best example, although I've had this a very, very, very long time, and I remember a long time ago when my younger brother kind of just stopped thinking it was a toy and just took it and played with it, which was a bit of a shame, but it's here and it's in one piece. Aside from the interior, as you can see here, the door's open, but yeah, it's a Meister one. Yep. The seat's missing. Weight reduction, bro. There we are. Yeah, also a 6.2 litre V8. I think it's an LS2. Um, 455 brake horsepower. Again, very, very nice details. I mean, look at that with the oil count. That's nice. That does, Again, there's some nice... Um, um, nice, what, what do you call it? Nice details going into these model cars, especially on the, like, cheaper ones. Again, oops, sorry. If you look under here, Chevrolet Camaro 50th Anniversary Edition by Meister. Once again, nice, solid car, and yeah, apart from the fact it's dirty. With that aside... But I'm going to round this off for part one. I'm going to have to make a part two, because this phone won't let me record anymore. <laughs> I do apologise for that. Um, It would have been ideal if I could have recorded it all, but hey technical problems but anyway guys i hope you've all enjoyed this video i'll see you in part two take care and stay safe bye